Have a go at this. This is epic, eh? Hey? Oh, and the current here is ripping a tie off to these vertical cliffs here. Standing in the shower, isn't it? It's very right now. Enormous. Yes, that's it. Good morning and welcome back to another episode. Yeah, welcome back, guys. We are heading to a new set of islands, which is pretty special. Yeah, certainly. We might have actually saved the best for last, guys. The marine park here boasts the richest marine biodiversity in the entire world. We can't wait to get underwater and explore it. It's going to be awesome. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Woo. Have a go at the landscape here. It's quite an eerie time to arrive. Actually, it's slightly raining, super overcast, and the current here is ripping. Um, so we're just kind of easily taking it in, looking for a safe place to anchor. But what an incredible spot. I think this is the bay here where we're gonna try and anchor, but not actually anchor, because the water is so deep, we don't, uh, don't have enough anchor line to get down to the bottom. So we're gonna tie off to these vertical cliffs here. Uh, you may have seen this on a previous episode. It's always a little bit fiddly to get it right, but I'll put the tender in the water and let's see how we go. All right, let's get going. Oh, 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 that's going to be a problem. All right, take two. There's always something. There we go. Looking for somewhere to tie onto on this cliff. Sometimes you can put the rope through various holes that gives you a good hold. Oh, look at this drop off here. Crazy cliff. Look at that swim through and cave. Epic. Oh, that's what we're trusting the boat with. Goes through this one. Now we just pull in, bit of tension on that bow line and stern line. We're going to sit here absolutely in the middle of this kind of epic natural amphitheater. We had a bit of a sneak peek with the mask. The water is actually really nice and clear. Coral is epic. Like there's, there's a sea. nice patch of reef just behind the boat here. So we're going to throw a mask on, have a look at the backyard, see what we're working with. In there, it looks like there's a bit of a channel. Let's go exploring. Wow, it's like a big lagoon in here. The water is so warm. It is, isn't it? It's hot. No way, no way. Guess what? I've just spotted. Can you see it? That's what I think it is. I'm going to be blown away. Check this out. Do you see it? Hey. You, you see what I'm looking at? No. We've been looking for these the a entire pig trip. Seahorse. Not a pygmy, but just a seahorse.
Alright, let's go for an explore, eh? Yeah. You gonna go check what's in there? Let's see if there's any fish in there. What's that? This looks like a huge log is washing down here. If these are out to sea any further, they uh, aggregate fish on them. But in here, it's going to be a bit of a hazard for our anchor line. It's big. A little bit more. At some point, we're going to dive through here to swim through and all sorts of cool places to explore. But for now, so many different islands around here, little bays, hidden little beaches. So we've got about half an hour of light in the tender. We're going to zoom around and see, what's, um, see what there is to be found just around here. Look at this swim through just here. You can drive down and then go under that whole undercut ledge there. That's cool. This is epic, friend. I reckon we get up here on the rock and scurry up and have a bit of a look off the lookout. And also, it's these types of areas, if you're in Australia, we'd be looking for indigenous rock art under these overhangs. All right, get ready. Look at this shell here. Hang in there, the tide is coming up. Easy. It's beautiful here, isn't it? So it's these kind of areas we'd be looking for indigenous rock art if we're in Australia. Uh, the indigenous folk here aren't known to have painted uh, on caves that I know of, but of course we'll be keeping an eye out. You never know what you find. This would be an absolutely prime spot to set up a little camp or something back in the day. I feel like we're up in like an eagle's nest up here with a bird's eye view. This is. Bloody beautiful. You can look down and see all the fish and coral and the last of the sunset. Pretty cool, eh, friend? This rock formation is so majestic. It is, isn't it? Look at that. Looks like there's a nice little hidden beach around the corner here. Beautiful. What was that? What was that noise? What was that? It sounded like a shimbun zip to me. It did, didn't it? I hope you guys could pick that up, but it sounded like like some chimpanzees fighting, but there's there is not meant to be any monkeys on these islands, but I got no idea what that was. Looks like the fishermen that had the nets out here have a little bit of a camp here on this little beach. Looks very random. The skies have cleared up now, which means tomorrow is going to be incredible. Uh, it's getting a little bit late in the day now. We want to get back to the boat before it gets too dark to see the shallow reef. Um, so we're going to see you guys bright and early in the morning, aren't we, Fran? We are. So Don't... stay. Yeah. <laughs> you tell them, tell them what they need to do. <laughs> Uh, keep watching. Yeah, don't go anywhere, guys. See you bright and early in the morning. <laughs> All right, Fran, but question from the viewers. I'm sure you guys be wondering. Fran, would you now rather roll our swag and camp on the beach like we used to do on the Great Adventure, or would you rather go back to a big catamaran to sleep on? I think if I knew the fishermen weren't coming on, on shore, I would rather roll a swag on the beach. I'd rather camp on the beach, eh? There's yeah. something, something quite special about it. Morning. The weather today looks unreal. We're about to go for a dive in the search of a pygmy seahorse. 
Yeah, they are so, so small, so difficult to find, but uh, after finding that bigger one yesterday, it's got us inspired, so fingers crossed we can find one. Ooh. We're about to jump in, eh? Yeah. So the current is hitting this big rock and it's absolutely pumping, but that's generally a good sign for big fish life. So we're about to gear up, jump in, and do a very quick drift dive around the outside here. Pretty excited for this, this should be good. Incredible. The biodiversity is just mind blowing. So many different species of corals, soft corals, and the whole water column was full of um, fusilia and other bait with all the trevallis hunting on them. We didn't find the pygmy seals, unfortunately, but we'll keep looking. And we are just about to pull in on a nice little sandy beach here and go for an explore. Land ahoy! There's some huge structures up here uh, behind the trees or in amongst the trees. We're gonna go check this out and see what it is. It almost looks like these giant tree houses. What do you what do you call that anchoring job, Brent? <laughs> there you go. The size of the leaves in this forest are just enormous. Look at these constructions here. Holy moly, Fred, we gotta get up there. Look at this. This is so cool. There's quite a bit of work's gone into this, but they're like tree houses that just haven't been finished. This one's actually got uh, a floor. I'll see if we can scurry up there. This is like something out of a Kind of like a children's fantasy book or movie, like Peter Pan or something. Wonder, wonder what happened to the the people. Wonder why it never got finished. Have a go at this. This is really, really crazy, eh? There. This is epic, eh? Hey? I wonder if this passes building standards. How's the view? Bloody hell. That's so cool. What a, what a crazy place to build a couple of tree houses. Shame it didn't work out for him. Nature always wins though, hey? Like any of these. Uh, 
um, properties or man-made structures that become derelict, just nature just takes them over so quickly. Check this out. Won't be long until hopefully this is all covered up and rotted away and you won't even know it was here. Friends just seen a massive fish right close to the shoreline. Here, catch. Oh. Go, go, go. Got it. I think he's a tusky. I haven't seen a tusky in so long. Stand in the shallows there. It's a black spot tusk fish. We haven't seen them anywhere here. I honestly didn't know they were here. That is one of the best eating fish in the entire ocean, just there. He's coming so close. I've never seen one do this. So, so adorable. So we'd heard about a freshwater lake full of jellyfish. Uh, from the drone, we've flown it over this island here, which has got a lake in the middle. So we reckon that's it. Just trying to find a spot where we can now scurry up and get into the lake on the other side. Almost at the top, Fran. <laughs> it looked better from the drone. <laughs> Here it is. You can see thousands of the little jellyfish, but I think the easiest way in from here is just a big old cannonball. <laughs> <I'm> ready. <laughs> Look out, jellyfish. Oh, that's a big cannonball from here. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go for it. Cannonball! You <laughs> land. <laughs> 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 This lake is a landlocked body of seawater that has developed its own ecosystem with two species of jellies living here, the golden and the moon jellyfish. And without any natural predators here, they've evolved to lose their stinging cells over time, which makes it a pretty cool place for a swim. We're racing some pretty wild weather back to Australia. Uh, we pulled in here late last night. We've got an opportunity this morning to spear something before we continue on, don't we? Yeah, we need to stock up on some protein before the long trip down, so wish us luck. Yeah, let's get in there. <laughs> That's smart. Do you reckon? Well, I'll jump in and give it a go. Oh, big The weather pretty quickly takes a turn for the worse and with the fish proving to be a bit elusive, we stock up on bananas for the voyage home. I've seen this floating fat out in the middle of the ocean here and there's a frigate bird um, feeding on it. So hopefully that's a good sign there's some fish there. We're gonna throw a mask on, jump in.
With a bit of protein on board, but now out in the middle of the ocean crossing and with no shelter for the trip home. Mother Nature throws absolute curveball. Gnarly at us. storm building out behind us and it's coming this way pretty you can quickly. Watch this play out on the B2B Adventures channel. And you can also watch this entire series in order via the playlist section on our channel.